Well, by now, most students in the area have already returned to the classrooms after what we hope was a relaxing and fun-filled summer for them and their teachers. As this academic year began, we sent Terry Haggerty to several of the Catholic schools in the diocese, and he found that there are some new faces in the classrooms and behind a couple of principal's desks as well. Terry's first oral report now of the season. This past week, more than 4,000 Catholic school students in the Diocese of Springfield stepped back onto school buses and into a new school year. Hallways and classrooms were busy across the diocese as students began the 2013-2014 academic year. Back to school! While students say that they enjoyed their summer vacation, they were happy to be back in school. Learning should be fun. I miss my friends a lot and I, I enjoy seeing them every day and um, learning new stuff every day is always fun too. Megan Sullivan, who's been at Blessed Sacrament School since kindergarten, says the parish school is a special place. Having nice friends here and um, nobody's mean and the teachers are very nice. It feels good to be back. I mean, it felt like I've been here for a while. By now, I mean, yeah, you're always nervous on the first couple days, so, um, but it definitely got better. I like the teachers and it feels, uh, it feels great. Back to school means new challenges and new opportunities, but not just for the students. This year, several diocesan schools have new personnel, and they are also excited about classes being in session. Elena Podmore, an East Long Meadow resident, is the new principal at Mater De La Rosa School in Holyoke. She has worked in public education for the past 17 years. What drew me here to this particular school is the whole idea that I can help share my love of God with the children that are here in the school and to continue to help them to see really that we're here to serve others and to help others. And I truly can't think of anything better than trying to live out God's will for me each day and showing children, you know, how to figure that out, how to listen for, you know, what is it that God has given me for special gifts and talents and how can I use them for His glory. Just down the road, the new principal at Holyoke's Blessed Sacrament School, Mr. Philip DePietro, a Suffield resident, was a longtime educator and principal in Hadley. He had retired in 2011, but just couldn't stay away from the career that he loves. Well, I found that when I was retired, I really missed the kids, and I missed the camaraderie and the esprit de corps that, that develops and exists between the administration and staff. This is a relationship business, and uh, it's relating to kids and it's relating to fellow educators. Behind the principal's desk in Pittsfield this year for St. Joseph Central High School is Dr. Amy Jolinas, a resident of Dalton who started on the job just a few days before the September 4th start date of the school. This opportunity for me is a chance to make a difference on, on a not just education, I was a science teacher, but on a spiritual level and a more, more holistic level for kids. And I, I think that um, with society the way it's going today, we're missing, a lot of kids are missing that moral compass that a Catholic high school can help fill. Dr. Jolinas came to the job with nearly 25 years of experience as an educator. She says that she loves being in education. You touch lives. You make a difference. There aren't a lot of places where you can make a real difference. And it's not a splashy thing like people, you know, you see on TV or you're being a superhero. But it's a lifelong difference that um, people take with them. And you can change things. The schools held opening masses emphasizing the importance of beginning the school year in prayer. Mr. DePietro, a lifelong, active Catholic, says that he looks upon Catholic education as a ministry. I think it's a great advantage for me, being a practicing Catholic, to be able to promote Catholic values to, uh, to the students here at Blessed Sacrament School and to, to, to really advance uh, our mission, which is uh, everything that we do is done in conjunction with or pursuant to teaching our Catholic faith to our, to our students modeling those principles of our faith, you know, respect and reverence and uh, compassion and, and caring, you know, the, the, the message that Jesus left us. 
As school begins, students are welcomed back into their academic setting. And across the diocese, the several new administrators are being made to feel very welcomed as well. Mrs. Podmore showed off the homemade greeting card and the flowers that were given to her by students and staff. At St. Michael's Academy in Springfield, the newly created role of assistant principal was filled by Aaron Petrowski. I'm looking forward to the challenge of it. I'm looking forward to working with students, but also looking forward to working with developing a curriculum and really getting, you know, hitting the ground running and developing uh, the mission, helping to de uh, develop the mission of the school. Also this summer, St. Mary Parish in Westfield made an organizational change to its school campus. They have combined St. Mary Elementary and St. Mary High School under the umbrella of St. Mary's Parish School. They still serve students from pre-K through grade 12, but they're doing so with a single administration, which includes Sister of St. Joseph Christine Lavoie as Dean of Students of the Elementary School, Michael Horahan as Dean of Students of the High School, and Nicole Nietzsche as Head of School. The move was made to allow the schools to operate with greater efficiency. Gerald says he's looking forward to another successful school year. I'm hoping that I get I keep my grades the way I'm keeping them. I mean, I I've tried my best and I hope to maintain that um, that grade level. So now that vacations have given way to busy school days and regular homework, it looks like the Catholic school students and the new adults accompanying them have gotten off to a great start. Reporting for Real to Real, this is Terry Hegarty.